One of my most popular videos has been about how to create an AI portrait of your face with Midjourney for free. Unfortunately, the image generator doesn't always look exactly like the uploaded image, and Midjourney has since cancelled the free tier. Well, today I'm going to show you how to solve both of those issues by using the Inside Face library and Discord bot, with a few other image generation engines as well. Let's get started. So, many of you have tried to create an AI avatar with Midjourney or other image generation models, and the results, while might be pretty cool, look absolutely nothing like you. What is even more annoying is that YouTubers like me show you this perfectly generated image, but you just cannot get it to work. Well, today I've got a solution for you. It's called Inside Face, and it allows you to easily replace any face in an image with a face from another photo, and it works really well on AI generated images. As you know, my channel has its own Discord server, and now we have three different image generation models, Midjourney, Blue Willow, and Mi6. So let's start generating some images and replacing the faces with my face. Now we go to the uh, Hacking on Live Discord, and we set the image that we're going to be using to swap the face. Save ID, give it a name, new David, because I already have uh, one ID called David and attach the image. The ID can be anything you want, just so it's gonna be easier for you to use it. The uh, image has been created. If you're using only one image, you don't have to remember the name because it's gonna be the default. Now we upload the image again, because we're gonna be using it in generating AI generated images. If you don't know how to upload your images to Discord or how to use them with Midjourney, check out my previous two videos on the subject the link in the description below. So let's use uh, new journey with the image as a cyborg e 5.1. It will uh, guide you step by step on how to use me journey. We see me journey generating the image and once it's done, you can see that it's kind of close to, to my face, but not really. So let's take this one, for example, upscale it, right click or long click, long press if you're on mobile, apps and in swapper. And here you get an image much, much closer to me with my build and my um, kind of face features on top of the uh, mid journey generated AI image. The closer it is to the original image, the better the swap will be. So let's add ginger with glasses as a pirate this time. I love making pirates, it's fun. And I'd say that this one came out the most kind of closest to me. And now again, apps in swapper, and it swaps the face with a default one, and this one is much, much closer to my face. The cool part, it kept the build and the hair and the glasses. I do think that mid is value for money for $10 a month is huge because basically it's by far the best engine and it costs less than buying one stock stock image somewhere else but i understand it's not for everybody and that's why it does three options as well let's try this with blue willow blue willow isn't as good as midjourney at image prompts but it's really good at cartoonish or animated characters and inside face is pretty good at style transfer so let's see how it transfers style by the way, please, when using the Hacking Modern Life Discord, try to use the proper channel for each engine. For example, Mid Journey for Mid Journey, Blue Willow for Blue Willow, um, Mi 6 AI for the HML6 bot. Otherwise, it's a mess, there's images everywhere. Please try to keep it organized. Here we have Blue Willow. And let's use Blue Willow with that image. Blue Willow has a free tier and you can generate at least 10 images, uh, I think a day for free. And you can also use it inside the Hacking Mod Live Discord the same way you use Mid Journey, sorry. Okay, but Blue Willow generates the images a lot more cartoonish. So let's take that one, for example, and do the same way, apps in Swapper. Inside Face here says it will take a bit of time, but we can see here it's the cartoonish image with my face, a lot, a lot closer though. One more, let's try the third engine, the HML6 bot, which is uh, based on stable diffusion, actually. But this one does not support image prompts. What we're gonna do is, like, as a pilot, 
change your with build and glasses. And HTML6 also has 10 images a day that you can generate. So it has a pretty nice free tier. And this is not a bad image, not I wouldn't say very realistic, but a pretty cute image as well. Let's upscale that one. And again, apps in Swapper. And let's see what we get. You can see that because the image is a bit more cartoonish, parts of the face here look a little bit kind of like realistic face swapped. Unfortunately, that's a side effect of the algorithm. It's not too bad, but you can see where the swapping happened exactly. Okay, let's do another one with me, Johnny. This time we'll do a comic book hero, ginger man with a beard and glasses and a spaceship, Frank Miller style. Frank Miller is a very famous graphic artist, graphic novel artist. He uh, created Watchmen and uh, a number of other very famous uh, graphic novels. He has a very distinct style. I personally think it's very, very beautiful style. And let's see if uh, Inside Face can swap it as well. And here you can see that if the image is a little bit too cartoonish, let's see if Inside Face even will detect the face in here. It did. And we can see again, it kind of made it a little bit more realistic where it replaced the face, but it still kept the style. So it's close and it works. Not perfect. Another thing is that it doesn't actually have to be an AI generated image. Let's upload an image of a photo of Napoleon, for example, and see what happens. And then same thing, I'd click apps in Swapple and we'll see how uh, in Swapple basically replaces Napoleon's face with mine. And there it is. Notice how it added the build, but changed the color to Napoleon's color and then added the glasses and all my uh, facial features are there. That's pretty fun. And as always, a bonus tip. If the source image is old and maybe black and white, here's a quick model that can add color to old photos, like an old black and white images. The link to the model is in the description below and you need to log in with a GitHub account, but it's free to create one. And the first few rounds of the model are free as well. And then it's a few cents for each uh, um, you upload the image here. Let's upload this black and white image of Charlie Chaplin and submit. And here's the result we got. You can save that image, upload to Discord and in Swapper. And there I am as Charlie Chaplin, an old photo. I love how it added the build, added the glasses and kind of ruined them. Yeah, if you have a photo without glasses, I guess that would be better. Or, you know, swap an image with glasses as well. All right, I hope that you learned something from this video. You can use all of those models on our Discord server, as well as learn about other models and share with others, or just come in and ask questions. While MidJoin requires a subscription, the other two have free tiers, and so you can use them immediately. And as always, see you soon with a fresh new digital life hack. Speaking of the algorithm, don't forget to like the video to tell the YouTube algorithm that more people should see it and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any of the future digital life hacks. Until next time, see ya!